Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Painting and Photography channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I shot this image a couple days ago and uh, actually I made some mm, sort of oil paint type image. Yeah, with uh, Procreate yesterday and uh, today I want to try to make different illustration, maybe I don't know, something exciting image with this Adobe Fresco. Well, let's get started. Okay, I have this image and also I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used a filter called Find Edges. And uh, let's see, check it out, changing blend mode. Okay, normal to Darken, multiply, make it sharper, nice color, look at this different. Yeah, this is digital painting, what I mean. That's really interesting. And uh, other than, well, this color burn, next one is linear burn. It is so interesting, isn't it? Color burn. Just calculation of the digital expression, I think. That's what I think digital painting is. Okay, overlay. Look at this. This is so interesting, isn't it? Not just like a photograph, huh? Just... Okay. Now I got the luminosity and uh, overlay. These two expressions is pretty interesting to me. So I'm gonna, yeah, just fix one layer each. Okay, select multiple. One, two. This one is overlay effect. Okay, one, two. Now duplicate layers. Then merge selected. Okay, this is overlay effect. Then turn it off to keep this now and uh, change this blend mode of pencil drawing type image overlay to luminosity. Okay, now select multiple again. One, two, then uh, duplicate layers by selected. Now I got the luminosity effect image. Okay, we got four layers now. Let's see. Well, make it a little bit darker image. So I'm going to duplicate this luminosity effect layer, then uh, change one up the top, change to multiply. Yeah, pretty nice saddle, still saddle color. That's fine, and uh, watch down. Okay, same, this is luminosity effect image. Then, now this one is overlay effect. That's pretty nice. Let me see what this pre-contrast colors. Change blend mode to maybe darken. Mm, not much difference, huh? Because this luminosity effect image, oh. I gotta turn on. Then, let me see, turn on this darken blend mode of. Yeah, it changed some. Some density is on this highlight, I mean, highlight area of the this overlay effect image. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, this is one of the image I want to use. Just Keep it this way. Yeah, let me fix this. Okay, let me see. Merge down. Now we got the one image. Overlay and luminosity effect image, right? Okay, this is the base image. Base effect, I would say. That's interesting. Okay, now let's see. Move this pencil drawing type image. Move up. Then change back to now just darken, then turn it off right now. 
now this effect image. I want to see bottom image, which is original image. If I change blend mode to linear burn, well, this is pretty dark colors. Let me see if I add white layer over this image. Yeah, I just want to check. Okay, let me see. Add layer. Fill this layer with white. All right, create empty mask. Okay, let me try. Just one test. Brush. Painting to roughing brush. Let me see if it's gonna show this oil paint type texture. I just want to compare. Okay, this is roughing brush. Then change brush to Japanese action line scatter. I just want to check. Okay, let me see. This is sketching type image expression, right? Then the other one, this roughing brush is sort of oil paint type texture. This roughing brush shows a little more fuzzy image. It's not less sharp sharpness. But here, action line scatter shows a little more sharp lines, I think, compared to these letters more sharp and look on here so in this case though i want to try roughing brush today or maybe as well one variation yeah let me see okay if i change this mask just add roughing brush texture let's see how it's gonna turn out recent roughing brush then over that. Let me see if it's going to change or maybe it doesn't change. I should clean up first. Yeah, okay. I'm going to clear this mask first. I think so. Still have a roughing brush texture exist. Okay, now cut mask. Then create empty mask again, then use the roughing brush. Just leave this texture of the brush, and I want to see the pencil joint tap image now. Turn it on. I want to show this color image. Very interesting texture, huh? That's nice, I like this. I shouldn't show up everything, huh? Darken. Just show this brush texture. Leave on this white layer. Okay. This base is color image. Now I want to add black and white image. No color. Let's see, how can I do that? Okay, this is not risky, so I should... This is dry gene. Let me see if I change... I'm looking for white gene color. This is not. This is kind of half down image. I'm looking for, for some clean white bottle image hmm this is one way to show up overlay effect hmm luminosity effect okay let me use this luminosity effect image okay now this was normal right no that was color burn Right, okay, leave it color burn, then turn on white layer, we got this image, this color now, okay, I'll 
I want to add one more image over this. Let me see if I change this one to instead of this color bar. Okay, luminosity, huh? This color. Okay, I got it. I'm going to add Okay, let me see. Just change this overlay and luminosity effect layer, effect image. Change blend mode, color to, I mean uh, color burn to luminosity. So take the colors out. Then show this image. Yeah, let me see if I hide this layer. Just try. Okay, now it's roughing brush. Go for dark. Let me see if it's look like gym bottle. Mm. Mm. Touch color no more. Luminosity doesn't have color much. Maybe the normal is fine. No more is this overlay and luminosity effect image. Color shows this much. Yeah. Only for this bottle, but the background is more color. So in this case, I'm gonna use this layer only for this bottle's image. So in, okay. Let me see, I'm gonna, okay, no more colors, all right, I'm gonna use this mask, only four bottle, so let me see, clean up this, this mask is the only four bottle, keep this image. I can fix later, okay. Now I got an idea. Alright, only from this image. This is normal image. Lucky, okay. I'm gonna copy this mask, then paste mask on this overlay and luminosity effect layer. Okay, now we got this. Uh, okay, invert this mask. Now, got it. We are looking at normal image of this gym bottle. Be feeder shows only the bottle image. This is it. Then we are looking at this mask. Well, just leave it this without mask. Then uh, let me see this white layer now. Okay, then I'm gonna hide this white layer. Continue. Okay, finally. Okay, now almost. Okay, let me see. Turn it off. This bottle's image. Turn it off. This color burn effect. There's a mask on this white layer. Okay, this is original image, add white layer with mask. Then only the B feeder images come from here to lighten up. Then background is come from here. Just a touch colored. 
but actually this is not just a touch. Pretty big. When you turn this on and uh, bottle's image off, then let me see. This is color burn over this original image. I just covered red white layer so much. This is effect. Color burn effect over the original image. Then shows this white layer with mask. Now add bottle's image. Okay, we got it. Now from here. Okay, let me see. White layer. Reveal this outside to show this image. Color burn effect. Okay, now go from here. I don't know if it if this texture of the brush is right on this image because it shows more some kind of oil paint type texture. So maybe though maybe add some colors with the same brush to add this kind of texture makes more interesting image. Yeah, let me make that way. Row four. Let's see. First reveal. I mean hide this white layer first. Then after that I may add by the way I wanna take this image from here. Just hide this effect from here. Touch smaller size. Show the, the more reddish cap. Okay, darken this much. Now I just want to try these textures. Okay, over this pencil drawing type image, I'm gonna add one more layer, then the same roughing brush to add some colors. Paint colors. Okay, go try for blue or gray. I, would, uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but just wanna try to see. Let me see. I want to break this. You see this pattern. That's the digital brush. So change size and add some little patterns to break this same kind of pattern image. More random look. Let me see if I can add some Shadow look. Smudge tool. Use dry media to maybe pastel square. Oh, it's gonna show up. Need more texture. Maybe. Let me see. Uh, same brush texture. Smudge spacing. Go to 30%. Let's see. It's gonna just smudge the texture. Huh? Okay, about this pencil drawing type image. Same thing, I wanna try. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna duplicate this. Just in case, I'm gonna duplicate this in, uh, pencil drawing type image. Duplicate. Then the uh, one is just turn it off to keep this. No touch. Then I'm gonna smudge this. Let me see. Oops, pixel uh, convert. Convert to pixel layer. This one is pencil drawing type image smudge. Okay. To smudge, we're gonna lose these straight lines. Yeah, I don't wanna see these. Then let's see, smudge these textures. Okay. Then I'm gonna smudge this color layer. 
paint layer. Okay, this is paint color. Oh, maybe though, I think we can use oil paint here. Why don't I use this oil paint flat? All right, go for it. Let's see. No smudge, just paint. It's gonna take a little while, but uh, hey, that's gonna be interesting. Look at this oil paint now. Add some different colors, huh? So it's gonna mix up. That's gonna give you some canvas texture too. Interesting. Well, turn into oil paint like. Well, totally different image. Mm. What can I say? Turn into different image, you know? Well, so far, I don't know if it's how, how I did it. I, I just don't know. I just painted. Happened to be like that using the oil paint brush but I think it's all right kind of interesting well I don't know it's gonna take a little little while to uh, I gotta finish up anyways okay uh, so far I think it's so interesting but uh, as uh, what can I say just look like paint well, this is maybe the digital painting. That's the way it is. Okay, let me... Uh, what this one? Pencil drawing tape image. Alright. Let me see, turn it on. It's not gonna affect anything. Just darken. So... This is paint. Oil paint. Oil paint. Then this is... Smudged base oh okay i gotta turn this one off because this is same thing i smudged pencil drawing type image then blend mode is darkened so doesn't have to change well when you change to color bar it's gonna lighten up touch different colors just a touch magenta wish a little bit saturation is up okay just uh, Darken, yeah. Then this one is white layer. So messy, huh? Just simple. Well, make it a little more cleaner look because of this oil paint with the white layer. Okay, so let me turn it off on this. Okay, this is the effect of this. This one has a mask. Okay, this is the original over overlay effect layer and the luminosity effect layer over original image combined to get this image. This is the base image. Then I made mask only for bottle. That's for light image. Then I add this is white layer. 
with mask. This one goes to this way. Then this is no. Same thing. But I smudged pencil, pencil drawing type image. So this, uh, this is uh, made from this base pencil drawing type image. Smudged image. Then turn it on. Just lighten up the this Beputer Gin bottle. Okay, lighten up. Then after that, add oil paint image like so well looks like uh, it is mm, feel like gym bottle I think well pretty interesting image this is it for today and uh, I don't know if this movie is gonna mm, some kind of well interesting idea for your creative work and uh, I really appreciate for you guys' support and, uh, well, well, interesting creative image. So much fun. And you guys have a nice day and uh, see you next time. Bye now. Ciao. Thank you for watching.